Welcome on back to another video of Bloodborne. Anyway, let's play. It is boss fight time, baby. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> well, it actually was the right button, but I wanted to use this. This is a pretty hard boss fight, actually. Okay, so this is his face. Oh. So when he uses that, we're gonna just run far away. We'll fight him here. Okay. So we're gonna keep trying to parry him. getting hit from the fucking stuff. Where the fuck is he? Again. 
we go. Game over, bro. First try. The god I was watching, better on the third. <laughs> I'm too good at video games, dude. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> I'm just joking, dude. <laughs> okay, get the crown. We grab this. And then we gotta put the crown on. Because I'm the king now. And then this door will open. Go say hello to the queen. It might be the king now, actually, because I'm a I'm a female. I claim no subject, but here lieth our throne. Kneel afore us, or get thee gone. So we we'll grab the loot here. Unopen summons. Nice boobies you got there. So, Neil. Visitor. Moon scented hunter. I am Annalise, Queen of Castle Canehurst. <laughs> Ruler of the Vile Bloods. And sworn enemy of the Church. Yet, our people are murdered, and we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? I swear oath to the vile bloods. Well, well. An odd hunter thou art indeed. We've tired of these piteous nights. Share in our plight and take oath against the church. If thou wouldst this path walk, I prithee, partake of my rotted blood. Swerve our blood oath. Very well. Drink deep of our blood. Feel the spreading corruption burn. <laughs> Now, thou art too a vile blood. We too, the very last on this earth. So, corruption, Kanehurst badge. And we got respect. Offer blood. No blood works to offer. We await thy return for the honor of Kanehurst. Okay, so we gotta go do something. Let's return to the hunter's dream. Okay, so Welcome home, buddy. We're gonna just spend our runes here a bit, or our monies, our echoes. Uh I feel like that's more value at the moment, dude. At least for now. Okay. Then we're gonna go here. 
we're gonna go to cathedral ward okay once we're here we're gonna run to the summoner guy we had oh not the summoner yeah well we, i think we summoned him once yeah it's up here i think yeah on the left I think his name is Alfred. Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. So we talk about the uh, unopened summons, or hand it over, actually. Ah, is that... Sigil of Kanehurst. I've heard tell of Kanehurst nobles and their amusingly pompous invitations. Wonderful. I thank you profusely. I will depart immediately, but first, a token of my gratitude. Wheel Hunter badge and bow for males. Ah, I feel my master's hand at work. Praise the good blood. And let us cleanse these tarnished streets. It has been an honor, but I must say goodbye. Let us cleanse these tarnished streets. And may the good blood guide your way. Okay, so over here we're just gonna go back. If you're curious, I just use the hunter's mark to go back. And we'll just go back again. So from here, go to... Vile Blood Queen Chamber. Master, look! I've done it! and grounded this rotten siren into fleshy pink pulp. There, you filthy monstrosity. What good's your immortality now? Try stirring up trouble in this sorry state. All mangled and twisted with every inside on the outside for all the world to see. <laughs> Goodness. Now she's just mush, dude. Queen fly flesh. <laughs> oh. oh, you, is it? Look at this. Thanks to you, I've done it. Well, isn't it wonderful? Now Master can be canonized as a true martyr. <laughs> I've done it. I have. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> I've done it. I have. <laughs> Well, he seems proud of it, so I don't know. <laughs> so now that we're back here, we're going to go to Cathedral again. Okay, now that we're here. We're now going to run to the very first location that we met him. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think it's there. There he is this way. Yeah, here we go. This guy with two doggies. And there's his body. And we get radiance. Use the mark again. Okay, now we're just gonna head back again to the hunter's dream. Loads of teleporting, dude. Okay, so that is done. I don't think we got any new runes. 13, 18, dude. It's gonna be hard to beat that. Attack versus beasts up fourteen. Sure. Yeah, it's there's no way we're gonna beat them. Uh we can repair. Uh can we we no, we can't, yeah. Oh, we got a new weapon also. We might use another weapon in the DLC. Or another... Yeah, one more weapon. We'll see though. Okay, so for now we have... V attacks gives bullets. V attacks gives HP. Um, we're going to remove the bullets one. And we're going to put up a plus 200 frenzy resistance. This one right here. I don't think we have the 300 uh, frenzy resist yet, so that's the only one we're going to change for now. Um, and then we're going to go to that location. So over here we're going to go to lecture building. Okay, so once you're here, uh, we're just going to make our way upstairs. And we're going to go to the new location. And here we go. Brand new location. Nightmare of Men um, Menace. Could also be a silent S, right? Nightmare of many. Could be. Ah, uh, I knew I forgot something, dude. Uh, do I still have? Yeah, I do. So these guys, you need to like last hit. With fire, anything fire. Uh, if you don't do that, uh, then there's going to be like two or maybe three snakes uh, coming out of their bodies. Uh, so close to them being dead, I'm just going to press L2. I wanted to change my weapon to fire and just see if that will work. You know, the final rune we have. And over here, you can see that frenzy is happening. Dude, I'm honestly wondering, should I just do it quickly? I think so. Let us quickly just change to fire damage. On the last gem, this one right here. Dude, we have a big upgrade as well, but it's, yeah, you take HP loss. So, fire up. 
You see, without it, it's plus 259. HP continues to recover. I'm pretty sure you have another fire here somewhere. There we go. Attack up at uh, physical attack. Then we have another fire up. Doesn't look like it. It says fire blood gem. It says fire attack plus 8%. So we're going to just try this to see if it works. Um, if it does, I'll keep this on for now. Uh, I don't know which one it is. Oh yeah, Nightmare of a Men Mensus. Okay, so from here I'm gonna just run back. We're gonna see now on this one whether fire is gonna do it for us. If fire is not doing it, I might just change it quickly back. It does. And oh my goodness, does it do damage. Right? That was three R1s, bro, and it's dead. So that power up there, if it sees us, it will it will cause frenzy. The thing is, though, it's not just frenzy against us, it's frenzy against them also. So what you can do is just get them in combat and run, and run back. And you'll even see their HP being deteriorated. got a hit. I almost, I, well, I almost fell down, actually. Screw the getting hit part. So we're going to keep running this way. I just, I just honestly can't believe this damage. Like, why didn't I do this way sooner? Okay, so there's quite a few giants here. I think that was less damage, so maybe that's why. It's only good versus uh, enemies that has weakness to fire. So we're gonna run straight past, straight on the last one here. And I forgot to mention this, but we switched to Aegis. Really good stagger damage, actually. Even though it's not weak against them. So if you don't know, um, this thing they have equipped if you hit them from behind, which is an instant stagger. And if you have the plunge attack thing on, you actually 
you actually get ammo for doing that against them. Which is a little bit ridiculous. Dude, I'm still wearing the crown. What am I doing? Honestly. Okay, we're gonna make our way in here. No, no, there's actually loot that uh, back there. Let's grab it quickly. Bloodstone chunk. Okay, so over here is going to be quite a few spiders. So we're just going to run until they fall down. And then we're just going to run back here. So the big one can't come through. This will make us uh, take uh, the little ones out first. That doesn't work. Let's switch to this one. Uh, okay. So the big one can attack you through this. Um, quite far deep in. That's just fucking AIDS, bro. Trading versus same is not a good idea. At least not with that, that weapon. Yourself quick bullets because why not? Uh, then we're gonna run up here. Yeah, we're definitely doing less damage, way less damage. Versus non-fire weak enemies. That's why we didn't do it. That makes sense now, doesn't it? So we definitely have to go change back. Um, so there's two spiders dropping down. They don't matter. There's no loot on the other side. So once we get that, we're going to head up here. And then it's going to be somewhat of a boss fight here. It's like a mini boss. It's almost like a replica of our gear, or our, our items. Almost like a mimic. What the fuck? Did he one-shot me? How is that fair? He one-shot me, literally. He killed me in one second. Like, I, I, I honestly don't see that as fair. That just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, I just went back to change my runes, or my, my gems.
Hopefully, the big spider is not here. Big spider is. So I looted everything here that needed needs to be looted. So. It's just I'm scared they're going to interfere with the enemy here. Looks like they're not going to. That's the sound I made when I died. And he's doing it again. Now, where's my blood runes? I saw this little alien walk here. Here it is. Give me my runes, bro. Goodness. My echoes. Okay, so we hear a, a ton of footsteps. We're going here. And this will be a shortcut for us to get back where we are. This is where I would have played until to get my, you know, to change my gems again. This is where I would have played until. So, over here, we could just uh, push them off. Someone's dying in the distance there also. I don't think there's any other loot there. Holy fuck, dude. Not operatable. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else there. It's just a shortcut, pretty much, to get into this building again. So, what I'm gonna do. Freaking weird camera angle. I'm gonna just let the lift go down. Okay, now we're gonna make our way to the right here. So many footsteps, dude. These guys are not aggroed until you're gonna fight Mama. They're makers.
And they mainly don't really fight you. They just push you around, dude. Honestly. With the blue elixir and there's mana. It's just like, oh, I saw you, but it's okay. <laughs> so with Mama down, there's actually another one. Now these guys are already aggro. They have a great time. These ones with crossbows is actually pretty deadly. Whoa, mommy, chill, 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 mommy, mommy, chill, mommy. Thank you for chilling, mommy. Okay. So now that that's done, we'll take this elevator up. But before we do that, there's uh, some loot. My boot. There we go. I was like, where the heck is it? So the elevator we sent down is actually a waste because we're going to have a better shortcut very soon. So these are pretty weird freaking animals, dude. I don't know why they've made it into the game. So these are dog crows or crow dogs. They are pretty freaking weird. And you see the other one is a dog with a crow face. And this one is a crow with a dog face. I don't know what the heck. By what the what the heck? <laughs> but they sound more vicious than what they are. But they have their nests and stuff, you know. So there's where our shortcut is, but we'll go there soon. That's where the bus is, which will go there soon also. Can I target you? chunk of bloodstone so over here you can see this loot in this cage we just run in okay didn't see that i'm sorry i didn't know this nest is occupied and tempering damp blood gem which is a pretty pretty good gem apparently so we'll see i'll, I'll tell you when i see it with my own eyes you know what i'm saying so now we're ready for the boss fight, but before that, we're gonna go spend our beautiful monies. And you'll see, we're back to exactly where the first shortcut is. <laughs> That's pretty weird, dude. So we're gonna head back, spend our runes, and maybe check out the gym. Okay, let's have a look at that gem, dude. Because I think it's puss poor. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, which one <coughs> is our weakest gem? The second one. I 
is uh, white. Oh, it's the same one we have. Yeah, there's nothing that's blue. Unless it's a... Uh... Okay, we have one, but it, it requires four health per second. Uh, that's a bit too much for me, my buddy. So, that's a lie. We don't have a better room. Or better gem, sorry. Good. What is it? What we can do... Well, good. We can make... We can make an anti... You see, like, if I do it here... If I do that now... See, this thing is... How do we know this? More echoes from slaying enemies. Add frenzy resist. No. It doesn't say anything. Here we go. Soul Cleaver plus three. Apparently this thing is stronger versus... Ah, oh, is it... Oh my god, bro. Don't press square. It's stronger versus beasts. That's not how you see it, though. Yeah, I don't know how you see that that's the case. Whatever, we'll do it. So we're going to take gems and put it in this weapon. But first, we're, we're going to upgrade it. Do I really want to go that high to a plus nine? I don't think so. Because we might actually get something uh, better later, I think. I don't know. Uh, so for now, we're going to just increase everything fire on this weapon. So that's fire. And what we also can do... point eight attack versus beasts 14 percent and then we can add fire on this one so this will just be the fire anti-beast weapon and you'll actually see how strong it is very soon i'm not gonna make it a plus nine weapon um just yet maybe later we will very well, let me... Uh, so for now, we're just going to... We're going to take skill to 30. No, no. Let's just take vitality to 40 first, and then skill after. Yeah, we're level 80, by the way, so that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to go to Murgo's Loft Base. So you'll see now I have my fire weapon equipped. And you'll see like how strong it is. Let me just find a beast. Dudes. So it's just, uh, you know, anti-beast weapon for uh, the future. So right now we're just gonna make our way inside the boss room. It's a pretty tedious boss, I'm not gonna lie. I must probably will struggle a very long time with this thing. So these skeletons keep spawning and they do insane amount of damage. Insane amount of damage. The problem with this is... They don't even give money if you kill them. 
some say cosmic. Do you hear your prayers? No, we shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. So once you enter, you should be right in front of us. Well, I don't see him. But we gotta go up here. Ah, uh, you should be right there. So you can see he's right in front of us now. Okay. Oop. Our job is to get him into this room. So he's running away from us the whole time. So he's gonna run that way now because we can't get him to run left so we have to just move him twice so move again since he's not gonna run out of the dungeon so now we have to run this way and then lead him into this room chase him. There's going to be two skeletons spawning here. Okay. We're going to keep on doing this. One, two, three, and then this. Okay, now he's gonna teleport away half HP and it's gonna have phase two. Oh, now it's gonna have a gay ability. Majestic. A hunter is a hunter even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. The nightmare swirls and churns unending. So we're gonna go this way. Uh, up is the right way to go, but we're gonna go down just for loot. So now we got the loot here. And he's talking, but I'm skipping the dialogue when I try to pick up something. You need to know when to talk, my friend. But yeah, we're just gonna grab all the loot once, and then if we do die... Sucks. We got hit by an arrow. So 
So he's actually standing up there. You see him? I think these skeleton dudes stand up every time. They will two-shot you, the skeletons, by the way. That's how much damage they do. So we got the iron door key. We're talking bad times and we skip dialogue, maybe. So our job right now is to... I think it's to get him into this room. Yeah, this is the final room we're going to fight him in. Uh, so, drop from the top. That's how we're going to enter the room. He's going to enter the room from the front, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's a different room that he closes up. Now I have to choose which direction do we push him in. And I think it's that way. Through the stairs. That was bad. So yeah, he entered and he closed the door. So you can see he's inside already. We can't we can't get there. So now we have to go in. So the cool thing is you can actually hear where he is. So So he's right down this hole. So what we're going to do is we're just going to buff our weapon up. And then we're going to drop attack. And we're dead. Oh my god, he missed. He's using his guy ability. I, I survived. He's using it again. He's... Okay, just stay on him. And there we go. slaughtered men men's cage
don't know if it's a headpiece though. <laughs> it is. It only beats in two categories. Three. Slow poison resistance is eight. Eh, it's pretty bad actually. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Okay. So now with all of this done, with also all the loot done, we're just going to make our way up. If you run up, then you know you're running the right way. Pretty much where we drop down from the top to get to the boss is where we're going. So now this bridge is up. This was just a hole. Now there's a bridge here. From here, we're going to return. We're going to spend our runes. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let me. I don't know how much we need. We need about seven. About, I would say about 7k. Farewell, good hunter. Thank you, baby. Now touch my, touch my pipi. You touch my tra la la, my ding ding dong. Oh, there you go, girl. Touch Welcome it again. Very well. Uh, we're taking skill up first because apparently, uh, ver versal damage. Um, the damage you do from after you stagger the boss or stagger something, that is. We're gonna go to to go through reward. That is versal damage. So apparently you do more versal damage if you have more skill. Okay, now that we're here, you can see the uh, the pregnant lady is gone. And we'll get her down here. I feel so bad about this, man. Even this, even this small guy is making like really cool noises. Listen to that. I honestly don't want to do this. umbilical cord and we get our shoes I honestly don't want to do that like I actually feel bad about this but you know it's pixels at the end of the day right So, from here, we're just going to return. And we're going to make our way to the third an anabetical cord, which is what we need for one of the endings that is mandatory if you want to get platinum. So, right now, we're just going to head back to Murgo's Loft Metal. And this is where we're actually going to end the part, guys. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day supporting the channel. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.